Đây. Twenty-seven. Oh man, I missed out on the perfect SpongeBob joke for day twenty-five. We'll change it. Hey, you know what's funnier than twenty-six? Twenty-seven doesn't really roll off like twenty-five does. Char. It's a classic, y'all. Bowl of fruit. I mean, is there anything else that is more perfect for any sort of painting challenge? No. Let's do it. I mean, look at this bowl of fruit. Oh, girl, there's like a pomegranate in there. Let's do that. It's nice and colorful. And we could do like a dark brown background, put a table. Ooh, yes. So that means brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me laugh way too hard. <sighs> I mean, do you really need to watch me paint this whole thing just straight up brown? No? Cool. I added some white for Zoom Dimension, but like, you get it. Now for the table, I'm gonna use my ketchup and mustard technique to get more of a, a wooden color. And I got this nice flat uh, half inch brush, although it calls it brush six, but that's about a half an inch. Now with wood, I like to not mix it all the way. So we keep sort of a, a wood grain look. It'll look streaky, but you kind of want that for something like this, you know? Cool. Funnily enough, this bowl is actually white and it's got sort of a blue rim to it. I'm not nuts about having a white bowl. So I might see what happens if I try and paint this white bowl on this already still kind of wet brown paint. See if I get more of a clay look to it. Just gonna see what happens. And it's okay. Oh, <laughs> see, I was about to say it's okay if it's not perfect. That is evidence of that. Bowl, it just it just wanted to be a wider bowl. That's all it is. Now, these fruits are very vibrant. I think it's really vital. These fruits are really, really vibrant in their colors. And as we all know, colors pop on white paint. Get ready to paint some fruit. Not gonna lie, I kinda dig this monochromatic look. It's kinda fun. But y'all came here for some colorful fruits, so you know what that means. Oh yeah. Okay, let's figure out how we gonna make some of these different fruit colors. I'm just gonna work my way through most used colors to least used colors. Most used colors we've got here, oranges and lemons. So let's start with the lemon. I've got Outlaw here. Now because yellow paint is so thin, I'm gonna need to do multiple coats of this anyway, so it's probably a good thing that I'm starting with the yellow. Now if I add some yellow to that orange, what happens? Yeah, that's a nice orangey color. <gasps> yeah! Ooh! Similarly, we're gonna need to let that dry down before I do another layer of that. Since we got the yellow out, I might as well do some green, but we need lime green because these are actual limes. <laughs> If you 
wondering why I'm, why I'm leaving those gaps in, in the fruits. There's areas for pith. It's called pith. It's the white fleshy stuff on the peel. It's called pith. Pith. As in, I'm very pithed off. I'm sorry. <laughs> You just talked about letting it dry down. Okay, let's look at some grapefruit. I get that ruby red. You know what I'm saying? I get that ruby red. I got flatsy. We have like a slice of a grapefruit over here. The edge of it is white. I got this color. Honestly, it's kind of more the pomegranate color. Yeah, that kind of works as the inner inside color. A little more red. Is this the color of a pomegranate? Ooh, it is now. You guys saw me press my brush down, right? How did I make a ring? Let's do more green for the kiwis. You guys ever seen a kiwi bird? Seriously, have you guys ever seen a kiwi bird? Kiwi birds, they're so cute. Flatsy, you betrayed me. I didn't want those thick lines on that grapefruit. Why, Flatsy? Why would you do this? It's okay. We can fix it with tea. clearly encountered one of the issues of using a brown background on this and if we're gonna paint some kiwis but we'll see if we can't fix that through shading then
Sorry, I'll kind of ran away with that. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is what I learned is called stipple shading because you are just sort of dotting, right? That's, that's stippling. And because of the texture of a rind of a citrus fruit, it sort of works to just sort of cluster the dots. For me, I suppose it'll be a little more st like stipple highlighting and stipple shading. Do a mixture and see how it works out. I think I need to make the lemons and oranges more opaque. Dear yellow paint, why are you the way that you are? Why can't you just do? Eh? Why you gotta be like 38 layers? We support layers on this channel. But there's a freaking limit, man! Let's give the fruit a break. Let's do some leaves. Some of that looks like lettuce. I've done pretty much all of the color placing. Things still aren't looking fabulous. So I'm gonna barrel in. This pomegranate is kicking butt right now, right? That looks real good, but the rest of it just isn't matching it in like caliber. <laughs> I'm gonna see what happens. A little mixture of white and black. See where it takes us. That should be the name of this. Zen Tangle Challenge. Let's see how this goes. Twenty-seven days down. I'll bring it in. It's a bowl of fruit. Some very, very, very shiny fruit. And it's making me kind of hungry. 
I'm really digging that this is bringing me into painting things that I haven't painted before. I've really never painted fruit before. So that's kind of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Go eat some fruit because it's good for you. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. You got subscribe here, video there, playlist there. Mm.